Okay, um, in this video we want to use double integration to find the area between a line, y equals 6, and the curve y equals 3x squared. To get things set up here, um, first go to our business, we find the points of intersection, and of course at those intersecting points then 3x squared will equal 6x, so we can pretty easily solve this for x, putting the 6x over to here instead of equal to 0. We can factor out a 3x, and it looks like then we have two intersecting points, one when x is equal to 0, and another one when x equals 2. When x is 0, y is going to be 0, and when x is 2, y will be 12 y equals 6x, that's just the straight line here, and y equals 3x squared, that's this parabolic curve, and the intersecting points are 0, 0, and 2, 12. Okay, so it looks like then our problem is to find the area of this region right here. And two general ways we can go about it as we discussed in our introduction video, we can do it by constructing vertical strips or by constructing horizontal strips. To get us started, let's use the vertical strips here. So these would be comprised of differential elements of area of dy dx. We'll be adding all of those up going from this curve up to this line and that would give us the precise area of that vertical strip then we would add up all the vertical strips that exist going from x equals 0 to x equals 2 and remember now from our introduction video if we're using vertical strips a double integral has this general form here, dy dx, and the integral right next to it, that is a dy integral, if you will, and then outermost integral will be a dx integral. What are the limits on this integral here for our dy? Well, let's see. We start down here at this curve the y equals 3x squared and we proceed up to this line y equals 6x so the lower limit y equals 3x squared and the uppermost limit y equals 6x and x will go from 0 to 2 So there's our double integral, and to evaluate it, like we've done before, start with the innermost integral first, the integral of dy, of course that's just y, so this is going to give us y going from 3x squared up to 6x, so that's this integral evaluated left over is this integral of dx dx goes from 0 to 2 and again if we want we can write this part in parentheses to avoid confusion but this of course is just going to be this integral 6x minus 3x squared dx. So notice how this plays out. Even if we had a more complicated integral here, say we had y cubed dy, so that this would be 1 fourth y to the fourth, but the limits of y are expressed in terms of the x variable, so that when you substitute those limits in after integrating, it's expressed in terms of x, which sets us up for the 
the x integral, so to speak. And it looks like this should be pretty straightforward. This should be the two integral of x dx is one half x squared, so this would be three x squared minus the integral of x squared one third x cubed times three. That's just x cubed. X goes from zero to two. So the here we have zero, so we just have to worry about the twos here. Um, 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12, minus 2 cubed is 8. So our region of interest would have an area of 4 units. So again, that was pretty straightforward, but again, um, it's a nice demonstration of the basic techniques. First of all, uh, determine your points of intersection. Sketch the curves out. Determine the region of interest. And then ask yourself, do you want to use vertical strips or horizontal strips? Here we choose the vertical ones, and that gave us an integral of this general form. Determine the limits, the y limits on the innermost integral. And then determine the x limits on the outermost integral. And Let's see, it looks like we've got time. Let's see if we can tackle the same problem. And then we'll use horizontal strips now. So we have it like this. And here we have infinitesimal areas of dx dy. And we'll be adding them beginning at this line here, and going over to this curve here, we're at this line, x equals y over 6, and we proceed until x is equal to, this is going to be the square root of y over 3. Then we would add up all of these horizontal strips, starting at y equals 0, and continuing on to y equals 12. So, Let's set the double integral up. We have horizontal strips here, so in general, the integral is going to have this form here of dx dy. And again, x goes from um, y over 6, so that's our lowermost limit. to or over to our uppermost limit which would be the square root of y over 3 and then y goes from 0 to 12 okay and to evaluate it we can start with the innermost integral very simple, it's just going to be x. x going from y over 6 to y over 3. Square root of that. And then we have the dy integral left over. Again, we can put this in parentheses to avoid confusion. But of course, angle of dx is just x. There's our limits there. What's left over is the dy integral. And this would just be equal to the integral of 0 to 12 y third to the 1 half minus y over 6. Y. And that's it. We should be done in a grain. Okay. Y to the one half. Oops. Here we have X going to these limits. So that's going to give us this. And now we want to offset to integrate. Dy. Y to the one half. Dy. That would be Y to the three halves. Divided by three halves. 
and we have a square root of 3 down here. So this would be 3 times the square root of 3. y goes from 0 to 12 minus that would be 1 half y squared divided by 6. That would be y squared divided by 12. y goes from 0 to 12. Uh, let's see, what would this give us here? We have this. 2, 3 square root of 3. 12 to the 3 halves. That's 12 times the square root of 12. This is just 0 then for this part. And here we'll have 1 over 12 uh, times 12 squared. Write it like this. And just 0. So, let's see. That's the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. Or 2 times the square root of 3. These cancel out. 3 goes into 12 4 times. 2 times 4 is 8 times 2 is 16 minus 12 and that gives us again 4 so there it is um, it looks like in terms of giving us the simple simplest integral to work with that the vertical strip did that but again we want to take the time here to illustrate both techniques and if you have time, come back and join us for some more videos, and we'll try to work through some more double integration problems.